Greetings everybody, this is Cool Science Guy, and welcome to System Test 26. For this system test, it's just going to be your run-of-the-mill system test. And not just that, we are bringing back VoiceVac. So this will be in use, as well as these two relay modules. And for the theme of the system, it is mostly simplex with a couple exceptions. And let's go over what devices we have. The pull station next to the panel is a Simplex 2099-9756. This one came from my school, and I know you guys seen these, seen this pull station on the system before. Uh, and I thought it'd be neat to install it right next to the panel. And then there's my key switch to 2098-9805. And then these two pull stations in here, the totally factory painted Simplex 4099 pull. That two stage switch, the key lock, that's not even connected to anything. It's just there for show. And we got the Notifier two-stage pulse station. And I still got the Smart Sync Control module hooked up because I am, like I said, I am using mostly Simplex. So let's see what devices we have up. Starting off, we have the Simplex 4902-9703 remote speaker. It's one of the older models of the Simplex speakers right next to the Wheelock Exceder STWNB. And I know it's a little damaged, that's how I got it, and I expected it to be to come damaged anyway. Not a big issue because it still fully works. And for the remote strobe, well, I had to go with the Wheelock Exceder remote strobe. The model number is an STR. And in the closet, we have a Simplex 4098-9403, which I got from JJing24, so thank you. For the first time ever, I'm using a Simplex 4098-9601 photoelectric smoke detector. I believe Simplex probably makes the best smoke detectors, or used to make them. Now, the new ones that are being made looks like a European detector. But as opposed with this smoke detector, these are probably one of the best smoke detectors they made aside from the 9201 series, or the 2098s rather. I have my Simplex 4903 9150 speaker strobe. Now, fun fact, I believe they are still making these as replacement devices for older speaker strobes. And the best part about these speaker strobes, well, this one's 15 candela, not that it really matters, but you can set the strobe setting to have it run either free run or smart sync. So clearly it is set to smart sync, so it can be controlled by the smart sync module. For the pulse station, I have another Simplex 2099-9756, came from my school, and I figured I'd put this in my bedroom to pair with the Simplex for an speaker strobe. Pretty good combo, huh? Pretty, com pretty common combo you would see on usual systems in the field. For the pulse station near the stairwell, I have Simplex 2099-9754. This one's a single action and it's right behind my stopper. And we got the Wheelock MTB, which is set as a remote strobe because I am using speakers and speaker strobes. And right here by the stairwell, we have the Simpl another Simplex 4098-9601. In the workbench that has to be cleaned up, there is my other Simplex 4906, by the way. As you can tell, it's loose somewhere. I did take this apart just to clean it up because it was a bit dirty. But I got to put it back together so it's properly working. Uh, we got the pull station here. It's a Simplex 4099-9004CB. It is bilingual. It is addressable, but it is wired up as a conventional pull station. And there's nothing up here because I have a Simplex 4906-9160. Yes, these particular speaker strobes exist in red. I'm pretty sure they just started making them considering with mine, it has it is made in 2024. And weird fact, they use the older style fire lettering, which is pretty unusual, but it's pretty cool nevertheless. It is set to 15 candela. And then I have my Wheelock RSSB remote strobe. Firelight SD350 smoke detector it is addressable, and I cannot put a simplex detector here because for this particular spot, it only accepts addressable firelight detectors. And we have in the laundry room is a simplex 4904 9185. Just like the 9150, only this strobe is 110 candela and and also this one can be set to either free run or smart sync for the strobe setting and obviously it's set to smart sync. For a heat detector above the washing machine and the dryer, we have another Simplex 4098-9403 rate of rise and fix heat detector, except this one's in better condition. Now notice how this particular 
walkway is now accessible. Well, I did clean up the basement a bit, or I cleaned up the panel room a bit because it was very messy. But now it looks a lot better. But anyway, we have the Simplex 4099-9006 addressable pull station, which just like the other Simplex 4099, it is wired as a conventional. Carbon oxide detector. This is a Simplex 4902-9717 with the red cover because, because I actually am using a cover off another Simplex device, which is my which is from my multi-tone horn. See, you can tell it has different lettering and the bezel. The bell is a little bit built different. It doesn't exactly fit, but it does fit over the speaker chest fine. Right here is a Simplex 4098-9602. The only differences between this and the 9601 is that this one has a heat th has a thermal sensor. So it is a smoke and heat detector. And then we got the Alexa. That is everything on the system. Um, we'll go ahead and activate the system by pulling the 2099 next to the panel. Now, the vo we're going to be playing a few different voice of act messages compared to System Test 19 where we only played one. And I'm not going to make a separate video to play other different messages either. This is just, just gonna play a few different messages and that's it. So, and the message I chose is a Simplex 4003 system, except it is at the correct pitch and not the little slightly higher pitched ones that you see on other system tests on YouTube. But with, compared to those ones, this one has, it, has, has the correct pitch. So here's what it sounds like. Perfect sync. program this message is that the slow rope is going to keep repeating let's go on the other side actually it'll be better Just the correct pitch and not slightly higher pitched. I did that on purpose when I was making the files. And silence just like that, so the strobes will be flashing. Let's go ahead and activate another device. Activate this one, and this one's gonna hurt my ears a bit. set that pull station because I don't feel like lifting it back up and then the sign goes off. Oh, I hate that siren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that scared me. Let's go ahead and activate this one. Ah! 
Reset the polls. Set the system. We'll activate a few more devices, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the messages. So, uh, be right back. All right, so I'm back. I just changed the voice evac message on the MP3 file. So, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the smoke detector. Let's smoke activate this one. I might use a little too much, but that's okay. Impressive. has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. That's basically it. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Alright, well, that's going to be it for that voice evac. Um, I'm going to go back to that smoke detector I activated because I brought my can air. There we go. Let's smoke activate this one next. I want to see if it activates faster than my SD-255. Uh, I gotta wait for my camera to go into focus. There we go. Been plenty, right? in the building. You are to leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevator. That's my favorite voice evac message. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset the system because we're going to activate carbon monoxide. Now, I didn't really find anything for carbon monoxide in terms of using just simplex. So, and I could use the 500 hertz continuous that I have, but I, uh, I want to change it up a bit. So, that's what we'll activate. I'm just going to wait for the panel to reset. And after that, we'll call it a system test. Um, let's do it the Alexa way. Alexa, activate carbon monoxide. Maybe. Alexa, activate carbon monoxide. I'm gonna unlock this real quick. No, it's on. 
I just realized I'm saying it uh, wrong. Alexa, turn on carbon monoxide. Here we go. That actually kind of hurts. <laughs> I think it's because I have it on max volume, but let's do it again. So you might notice something is that the strobes are still flashing when I silence it. That's because I actually have it so give me a minute so the way i have it configured is that the carbon that i have this control module set to non-silenceable and when it does that that will uh, keep strobes flashing but notice that it also silenced the speakers which is pretty unusual but cool at the same time we'll go ahead and reset the system Yeah, it strobes flash for a brief second and then it stops. I'm gonna show you how I can activate the system without opening up my panel. We'll key activate it. Alexa, turn on silence. There is a fire emergency in the building. You are to leave Alexa, the building by the silence. nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevator. And watch this. Alexa, turn on reset. So those LEDs, that means that the turbo has been activated. So it might throw a system troll, but it's only going to be for a brief minute and then it goes back to normal. That would be it for the system. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll make another system test next month, but we'll see what happens. I've just been pretty busy lately. But thank you all for watching, and have a good rest of your day. Peace.